Okay, welcome back to the shed. Just have some delivery of some bits. If you remember, this is what we got. This brassy, nicotine stained, yellow, horrible bolt. Gonna take it off. Okay, what we got? That's the original. Uh, yeah. Let me turn that light off because that's probably flooding the camera. Oh, okay. That might be better. Yep, no, nope, alright. Bear with me, bear with me. Ah, try chopping that one off. Right, so okay, that's the original one. What we've got to do is a couple of replacement bolts here. These are 10 mil. 10 mil by 70 and 10 mil by 65. Now, when we put the 10 mil on by 60, uh, 10 mil by 70 on, it turned out to have a wee problem. Let me just take these bits. So, this is what we originally was going to use, right? 10 by 70 line it up on the back, put a washer in, well we wasn't going to use the washer, okay, 10 by 70, the metric equivalent of the one we already had, sorry it's very difficult to do this one handed, let's spin that up by hand, I'll get my hand out in the way a sec, so we had this problem, we thought, ah, Right, the dome nut doesn't sink down far enough. So what we'll do, we'll do something clever. Like we'll put a washer. Thank you. Bring me my nut back. Just not here at the moment, it's busy. Put the washer on. And we put the nut on. Excuse my hand, <clears throat> and it pinches up. Okay, the trouble is, I said to Jeff, the washer is bigger than this bit here, and the washer is bigger than this bit here. It, it tends to look a little bit clunky. So we thought, right, okay, let's get a 65 mil nut, or we can take the, the dome nut off if we wish. The washers don't work because those washers are bigger. <clears throat> Come back over here. Grab a 65 while I'm here. So we thought we'd get a, a, a stainless nut. But the only ones we could get at a reasonable price is was these. And these have got some sort of gripping on them. So if I now spin this on. Come on, just grip your bugger. That's all I want you to do. Ugh. Nope. And now I lost it. All right, put the camera down for a second. Sorry about that. Right, okay. And I'll keep the lens cap out of the way. And we'll spin it up. We thought, all right, okay, that works. That's okay. Sticks out a little bit at the ends. A little bit more than the original. So we thought, right, the 70 oops, isn't working. We'll have to go and get ourselves 65. Cue the 65. See, so look, line them up side by side. Yep. So we take the 65, we drop it on. We get the, the nut. We put it on. Oh, can I get my hand on the other side to spin it up? Yes. Right, spin it up. Oh, no, it's a bit short. It doesn't stick all the way through. And that other nut. I had another one some here. And, and like I said, it had some castling on it. Some sort of gripping. So, if I can see it. Yeah, okay. So, right, so the nut just doesn't stick out quite far enough. Can I get it on there? No. Ugh. Oh. There's the dome nut gone. It's like a comedy of errors, this, doesn't it? Let's push that on there. Okay, make sure I'm zoomed out. It's a habit of attaching the zoom. Spin the dome nut on. 
goodness me. And the donut fits nicely because the donut comes up to about there because it's a much shallower nut as you can see. Yeah, because the flange uses up a lot. So, and we didn't want this thing, oh, stand up, munching into the, um, into the alley on the fork. So, got the pillar drill out, got the grinding wheel out. I didn't grind it. Stuck this on a bit of 10 mil studding that we had for when we used to pull wheel bearings. Safety goggles, safety goggles, look. Um, then we put this on a bit of studding, put the other nut on the other side, like so. Put the camera down. Sorry. And we put the nut on the other side. Grindy, 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 grindy. Gives me a flat. See, can I measure it on that side? Nice and flat on that side. Now, the next thing was to do was to put it in the pillar drill and um, smooth it off. So, I'm going to do that. Just bear with me. Okay, I'm on the wrong side. Unfortunately, let's put the pillar drill on. I won't be able to do this one-handed because I need one hand to hold the the emery paper steel. Should put it on a wooden block, really. But just to polish it. This is just a bit of thousand grade paper with um, just a drop of three-in-one oil on it. And all I'm going to do is just lower it down onto the paper and just flip that spin up to polish.